Hello everybody, this is Tony Callis. I'm at the back area of LN Engineering. They've been so gracious as to let me work on our race car, prep our race car here, and I wanted you to, to see what this operation's about. Uh, I don't know them anything. Uh, Charles is a friend, but that is not uh, enough for me to talk about their product in, in, in this way. Um, as most of you, you all know me. I've been in Los Angeles uh, in business for 30 years. I built Callus Rensport up, and I wanted you to see what goes into building an M9X engine, an M96, M97 engine. Um, the key to rebuilding an engine is picking the right machinist. Yes, I measure every component. We clean every component. We deburr, we chamfer, we put it together carefully and torque things. But in the end, it all comes down to the machinist. And that's what Charles Navarro is. And, um, and I gotta tell you, yes, I, I use a few people in this world. There's a, Wally does a lot of our work and, and Walt Watson at competition and Charles Navarro is one of them. And they've invested so much money into getting this facility right and doing things the right way. I've watched it over the years. So I'm gonna start back in the back. They get a, an engine block, I call these a block uh, like this, and they immediately, they immediately clean it up because most of the time they come in uh, really grimy and greasy like you would expect most engine parts. You wanna pull your sleeves out, your dowel pins and whatnot, and then they're gonna wash it here. Then they're gonna put it into this aqua blaster. This machine took them a long time to get the recipe right. Uh, it's sand and water, and um, it does a great job. You have to know what you're doing. You don't want to hit one spot too long. And, um, and so the first thing they do, uh, other than cleaning it, is they put it through this blaster, and it looks brand new. Then they, heat, they hot tank it in this uh, hot aqueous solution. And then after that, they rinse it off again. So, so far, there's hours involved in an engine without even really anything critical being done. There's our ultrasonic machine. Uh, every shop that rebuilds an engine needs to have an ultrasonic machine because this, this is how you truly clean it with that solution. And then that's a standard solvent tank machine. So it first comes into the back, gets cleaned up, then it comes up out here and this is where, this isn't just a machine shop that gets your engine ready for your, me your mechanic to put it back together. Most people think their mechanic does all of this. That's not what happens. The machinist is who really does the critical part of the engine rebuild. Well, LN takes it another a step further. What they do is they build all of the parts, including the pistons and cylinders. They build the cylinders. They uh, coat them with a uh, Nicosil coating. They call it Nikki's. This is where the solutions are made. I, I, I honestly, I won't put a, a bearing back in an IMS on an M9X. I will only put a solution in. So that's where, this is where they're made. And uh, the precision is just daunting. It's amazing what they go through. They start with uh, a chrome molly, a hard material as it is, and it starts out as a, as a piece of steel like that. Then they machine it down to this. And before you know it, you end up with uh, the solution. But um, the process they go through is just mind numbing for me. Look at the measurements. Look at how they measure it and what they do. The granite block, uh, the tools, the, the money is amazing how much money is here. So, uh, but you know why? They've done it to guarantee that you're getting a good part and um, a good component. So when your engine's put together, it's not it's going to last. It's not going to go anywhere. But you can see the amount of money that's put into these machines. I can guarantee most nowhere else has done this. Hey, Sam, what are you doing? Getting solutions ready? Yep, watching... Uh I guess the next few processes that was way to go. So, so you've started down there and you're like working your way over, huh? And these are IMS solutions, right? Yep. What a lot of people don't understand is that a ball bearing starts out in the motor. And before this, 
really no other engine has a sealed ball bearing inside a motor and this is the true way to do it right with a plane bearing so i love what you guys are doing and the time you're spending so then they they come over here like this and then you machine them out to be like this right so this final product we've got our oil final oil product drill. oh yeah an oil group so that way the the bearing material gets lubrication yeah we've got one more hole that'll go in here so it's fed from the front and fed from the side and here's our NPT port so that's where the engine oil comes in to lubricate this because we all know splash lubrication just isn't gonna cut it not enough you need that pressure. All right, thank you. So, I don't completely know if they allow this, but I gotta tell you, somebody has to see what all LN has going here because it's fascinating. Um, over is, this is the, uh, this is Matt Terry, the genius. They have their engine block machining area where they put this block in and this machine through this keypad and computer will machine out these sleeves. You know, a lot of companies put in steel, steel sleeves. I've been in the Porsche industry my whole life. We started racing in 1970, and um, this, is what, this is what goes in there. But I, I've been around a lot of companies, and I have seen a lot of failures, and I've seen a lot of things that do work, but they don't last. Honestly, you want to put an alloy sleeve in just like this because a steel sleeve, in my opinion, this is just my honest opinion, a steel sleeve has a tendency to grow at a different rate. We all know that steel grows at a different rate that aluminum does or an alloy. So that's the whole purpose of putting in an alloy sleeve. Very, very cool. So the shipping, once things come in, they end up going over here with Trevor. Hi, Trevor. Hello, buddy. And um, I'm not sure how much of this we can show, but uh, these are engines that are about to, looks like they're about to go out. They're just about finished. And um, they've got a very huge operation here. And um, you can see the Nickies for air-cooled motors. Nick is seal coated. And then back here is their shipping area um, where things usually arrive. You can see the steel that they, steel and aluminum that they collect. Uh, engines are everywhere. Look at this seal. Can't even imagine trying to, to ship that and, and pick it up. But, um, and the aluminum. So I wanted you to get an idea of what I've been watching go on here in the last couple of, couple of weeks. And, um, really just the the goal of accuracy and how clean and 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 the perfection that charles wants to see things so um all right well back to my 2020 race car project um we're gonna be over in elkhart lake road america here pretty soon and uh thank you guys all for watching see ya